this. This is your thing. Ah! Oh my god. Um, hello, yes, um, I found a dead body. Um, um, yes. Yes. Somebody really did not like this girl at all. On the back of her head, where the occipital bone is, it's cracked completely, like, damaged. They smashed her face in, and her mandible and her zygomatic bone are completely crushed. There are 20 stab wounds all over her body from what looks like a blunt object. Two of the stabs cracked the clavicle. Seven of them broke her true ribs and her sternum completely. There's a small fracture to the lateral part of the ulna, so on the outside part. Um, her left femur is completely cracked, like straight down the center. Then her right patella was completely dislocated, like she'd fallen and the woman pushed her, or the man pushed her, whatever, whoever this is. Her pinky toe, the proximal part of it, is completely fractured. The lateral cuneiform of her foot right here was crushed, like, it was ugly. Um, there was superficial and deep bleeding on her body before I cleaned it up. There is stick marks between her toes from what looks like a needle on the proximal part of her foot. Uh, there was bruising on the dorsal part of her body, but luckily she still had her teeth, so I was able to identify her, and her name is Victoria Swan. My name is Veronica Mars. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Is that okay? Yes. You were friends with Victoria Swan? Yes, we've been friends since pre-K. She moved in with me about a month after our senior year started, after her parents died in a car accident. Oh. Uh, do you know where she was Thursday? She asked me if I wanted to go for a run to clear her head. She usually stays after school to run at the hospital track. You were friends with her, right? So y'all were, you know. Yes. Were, okay. So, can you think of anyone who would hurt her? Uh, the only person I can think of that started acting different is our teacher, Miss Smith. She started failing her and acting rudely towards her, and we couldn't figure out why. Hmm. Well, there's it not. I was at home studying for semester tests. She asked me if I wanted to go around with her, but I told her no. Okay, well, thank you for your time. Have y'all figured out what happened to her as far as who could have done this? Um, we are still researching. We will find the answers and we'll get back to you. Okay, thank you. Victoria Swan's English teacher? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, where were you Thursday night? Um, that night I was waking late and then I went straight home. Okay. Have you heard from her since? Mm. No. Nope. Last I heard she was missing. I just assumed she ran away or something. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to just put this on you right now, but Victoria Swan is dead. Oh my god, really? Yeah. What happened? We're not for sure right now, but we're getting details. So we'll let you know when when we have more information. But okay, thank we you. just wanted to let you know and like ask you questions. Yeah. Alright. You're free to go. Thank you. You're Found anything new? Actually, I just did. We just found some gravel located and lodged in her sternum. Um, it had some type of fungus on it, and if you give me some time, I can run a test and figure out where the fungus grows to determine where the, her place of death actually was. And so with the place of death, you can narrow down who your sub suspect was. So. Hey, 
Hey, I need you for a second. Okay, so Miss Swan was stabbed with a black stiletto heel, yeah. and we found fragments of two different types of residue in it. So I'll try and get on that and figure out what what the residues are. All right. Well, we only have a few more to narrow down. So okay. I don't know why I'm even here. We've already talked. I was waking late and then went straight home. There's no one in the back of your alibi. So we sent out a search warrant and we searched your house and we found the murder weapon. So I'm going to ask you again. Where were you Thursday night, the night of Victoria Swan's death? You don't understand. I was about to lose my house. Do you know how hard it is to live on a teacher's income? <sighs> I mean... I had to get a second job, and she just took it from me. How would you feel? Mm -hmm. Visions fired me so they could hire her. I mean, I taught her every day, the ungrateful little brat. <sighs> she didn't even care I knew. I mean, at least have some remorse. She ran the track every night, and I just wanted to go talk to her, that's it. But she gave me so much attitude. I mean, oh, she was so annoying. And I was already so mad. And I just, I couldn't control myself. I just lashed out on her. And next time I know there was blood everywhere. I was covered in blood, the ground was covered in blood, and she was unconscious. It, it just happened all so fast. I just, I couldn't go to jail. I had to hide. I mean, I had to do something. Thank you.